the ecliptic. So now you know the north and south celestial poles and the celestial equator. There's one more imaginary circle on the celestial sphere you need to know about and which you'll see on some star maps. It's called the ecliptic and it marks the approximate plane of the solar system in space in which all the planets and the sun are found. The Earth's axis is tilted about 23 and a half degrees from this plane and that's the angle between the ecliptic and the celestial equator. The ecliptic marks the path the sun, moon, and planets appear to follow across the sky during the year. It passes through 12 constellations, collectively called the zodiac. These are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Actually, the ecliptic passes through a 13th constellation, Ophicus, but ancient astrologers considered the number 13 unlucky. The ecliptic crosses the celestial equator at two points, called the equinoxes. At the vernal or spring equinox, the sun appears to cross the equator moving northward in the sky. This marks the beginning of spring and fall in the northern and some spring or fall in the northern or southern hemisphere. The vernal equinox is located in the constellation Pisces. This is the autumnal equinox and the sun crosses the celestial equator going south, marking the beginning of fall or spring in the northern or southern hemispheres. The Meridian the local meridian is another imaginary great circle on the celestial sphere that is perpendicular to the local horizon. It passes through the north point on the horizon, through the celestial pole, up through the point directly overhead, zenith, and then through the south point on the horizon. A star or other object on the celestial sphere culminates when it crosses the meridian at the highest point above the horizon. And that's usually the best time to observe an object because it's at the highest point above the horizon, which means you have to look through a lot less of dust and moisture in the Earth's atmosphere. 